This story is from the fifth grade reading materials, book three, Literature Anthology, page 118. You can follow along in your book, and that'll make it easier for you to uh, remember what the story's about. Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lin. In this tale, set in long ago China, the young Min Li seeks the old man of the moon. This mysterious person has the power to read from the Book of Fortune, which tells each person's destiny. Because he can answer any question, Min Li hopes that he will be able to tell her how to change the fortunes of her poor family. As she sets out to find him, Min Li meets a series of characters who provide clues to guide her. One character, a dragon, who long ago escaped from the terrible ruler magistrate Tiger, decides to join Min Li. Together they travel to the city of bright moonlight, where they try to figure out a puzzling clue. Min Li must find the guardian of the city and ask for a borrowed line to bring to the old man of the moon. Though Min Li guesses that the guardian must be the king of the city, what could, be, what could the borrowed line be? She must find out. While the dragon hides outside the city gates, Min Li sneaks into the king's palace in the inner city. When she finds the king, she asks him for the borrowed line. Hearing this odd request reminds the king of a certain page that was said to have been borrowed from the Book of Fortune. The king reveals that his ancestor, Magistrate Tiger, had overtaken the city long ago and that it was the magistrate who had angrily ripped this page from the book. He tore a page out of the Book of Fortune, Minley said. Yes, the king said, but he himself was never able to read it, so it remained useless to him, just as the old man of the moon had said it would be. Come, the king said as he walked out of the pavilion onto the bridge under the moon. As Menley followed, he reached inside the breast of his shirt, slowly took out a gold-threaded pouch, and said, This is the ripped page. It has been passed down from generation to generation, studied by the kings of the city of bright moonlight. None of us has ever understood what the old man of the moon meant when he said it was borrowed. Menley watched, fascinated, as the king took from the gold pouch a delicate, folded piece of paper, Paler than even the white jade tofu she had eaten for dinner, the paper seemed to have a light of its own, dimming the gold threads of the pouch that held it. It was my great-great-grandfather, the king said, unfolding the paper, who realized that the words on it can only be seen in the bright moonlight. He renamed the city, the city of bright moonlight, as a reminder for the kings that followed him. Menley looked at the paper as if in a daze. In the moonlight, the page glowed, a single line of faint words, as if written with shadows, was scrawled upon the page in a language Minley had never seen. So I think this paper, which the old man of the moon said he borrowed, the king said, this written line torn from the book of fortune is the borrowed line you seek. Of course, Minley said, and excitement bubbled inside of her. It must be, but her excitement popped as she looked at the carefully preserved page and remembered how the king had had it on his person, carefully and preciously kept in the pouch around his neck. It seemed impossible that he would give her such a cherished treasure. It was only after much study that my great-great-grandfather was able to decipher the words, the king said, and this is when he realized that the words changed according to the situation at the time. From then on, whenever a king of the city of bright moonlight has had a problem, he consults the paper. And it tells you what to do? Minley asked. Yes, the king gave a wry smile, though not the way you think. Sometimes the line on the page is more mysterious than the problem. And with that, the king looked down at the line. As he read it, a startled expression came across his face. What does it say? Minley asked. It says, the king said slowly, you only lose what you cling to. The king's words seemed to hang in the air. All was silent except for the soft rustling of the page and the gentle breeze. Minley unable to speak, watched it flutter, as if it were waving at her. So it seems your request, the king says, deserves consideration. The line tells me as much. Let me think. Menley looked at the king, quiet but puzzled.